In Phnom Penh, Cambodia's red light districts, I go to the streets and bars late at night to chat with guys like me. I'm an overweight, elderly, balding, gray-haired man who struggled with sex addiction and am married to a Cambodian woman 30 years younger than me. Though I've been in recovery and accountability for my addiction for several years now, and most importantly, I'm a child of God through the grace of my Savior and friend Jesus Christ, I don't think I'm any different from the guys I come here to befriend. The men can be any age, size, or nationality other than mine, but we have a ton in common. Most of these guys are here to pay a woman, girl, man, or boy for sex services of one type or another. Frankly speaking, I've never done that. The idea kind of grosses me out, but I've committed sins no different that gross others out. And even if I never had the sex addiction, I'm no different than these guys or anyone else I know, because according to God's word, all of us are sinners and come short of God's glory. At Glue Ministries, we don't see these men as perverts, johns, or sex tourists, but as someone's dad, brother, son, uncle, guys like us which is what GLUE stands for. We're not out here to preach. We're out here to offer companionship, which we find many of these guys are looking for anyway in the sex industry. Could be a few minutes, an hour or two, or a friendship that lasts for years, but my ultimate goal is to introduce these guys to the friend, my friend, who stuck with me since 1972, even during the darkest times of sinfulness. I've got a ton of hope for these guys, and so do you if Christ has set you free from sin and became your best friend too. If this resonates with you, join us some evening if you're in Phnom Penh, or consider befriending the guys in your bar districts. The same Christ that believes that I was worth dying for feels the same about these guys, and it's about time we let them know it.